Hello, last week SAP announced Business Data Cloud as a new umbrella brand for existing products like Datasphere or SAP Analytics Cloud, as well as some new interesting products, especially SAP Databricks. The SAP BDC introduction was started by SAP CEO. The viewers were also able to ask questions in the Q&A section of the webinar. I summarized the most important questions for you and here is the result. So question number one, what is SAP Business Data Cloud or BDC? So BDC is an integrated solution that brings together Datasphere, SAP Analytics Cloud, SAP Business Warehouse and newly also SAP Databricks into one unified experience. One of the most important features of BDC introduced last week were also SAP data products and the inside apps. So what are those inside apps and data products? So my understanding is that inside apps is kind of a front end that runs on the top of those pre-built data products. Imagine a dashboard, a report, but maybe even something more interesting some prediction, some forecasting. On the other hand, from the Databricks perspective, the introduction of SAP data products is maybe even more important. In the past, companies spent millions rebuilding their business logic from SAP in Databricks, but now SAP built a standard data model, process the customer data in SAP RISE, and expose the final data model using Delta to Databricks. Such model can be then easily used by data engineers or data scientists in Databricks to create reports or machine learning models. So what has changed in practice? Because as I mentioned in the past, customers were also able to extract their SAP data and build a semantic model in Databricks. So the fundamental shift here is that now SAP will manage the data extraction, the data modeling, and just expose the end data product for the customers to use it. SAP is really the company that knows best how to build an HR report, finance controlling or sales and distribution report. And they just put all their know-how into those data products. But what if a customer needs to create a custom data product, a data product that is not available in the SAP data product catalog? For such case, customers can keep using their current approaches with using Datasphere for both data extraction or data modeling. As SAP explicitly mentioned in the Q&A section, Datasphere will remain the place where the data products will be created if or when such custom data products can be then shared via delta sharing to Databricks remains unclear for now. So question number five, my favorite one. Will customers be able to use SAP data products not only inside SAP Databricks, but also with their existing implementations of Databricks running in Azure, AWS or GCP? So the good news are that it will be possible. The SAP data products will start being available in SAP Databricks, and then in the future, SAP promised to make them available through Delta sharing in Databricks on Azure, AWS, and hopefully GCP as well. So it sounds wonderful. Is there any catch? Well, the thing is that all the new features related to data products and inside apps will be available only to customers running SAP S4 in RISE. This means that customers running their private cloud editions of SAP S4 HANA will have the access first and then hopefully also the customers of the public cloud S4 HANA will get access soon. On the other hand, customers running SAP ECC or SAP S4 on-premise won't be able to access the newly introduced SAP data products or 
the inside apps. Question number seven. We are almost at the end. So if we can now seamlessly bring SAP data into Databricks, why would one need Datasphere? The answer provided by the SAP expert during the webinar was a bit cryptic, but my understanding is that as most of the enterprise customers have a lot of custom data models, they cannot rely only on the pre-built SAP data products. Therefore, they still need Datasphere either to extract their SAP data and bring them to Datasphere where they can create the semantic models. I would say that from SAP perspective, the role of Datasphere and Databricks hasn't changed much even after the latest announcements. Datasphere should be used for data extraction and data modeling. On the other hand, SAP sees Databricks as a tool primarily focused on machine learning based use cases. So let's now quickly discuss the data governance topic and the role of the Unity Catalog. As you might know, both SAP Datasphere as well as Databricks have their own data catalogs. In the subvision, Datasphere acts as a data extraction tool as well as data modeling tool. In a such world, the role of the Databricks Unity Catalog remains unclear to me. On the other hand, if you plan to use SAP Business Data Cloud primarily to create and share SAP data products with your existing Databricks installation, then the Unity Catalog will play a much more important role. So today we've been discussing many important topics regarding SAP Business Data Cloud and Databricks. Of course, not everything is known yet. There are uh, yeah, a few unknowns, especially regarding the general availability of SAP BDC in specific cloud environments, as well as the specific data products that will be available to SAP customers in the upcoming months. I'm also curious to more understand how the Delta sharing will really work between BDC and Databricks. Last but not least, the popular pricing topic. As far as I know, SAP hasn't published any official pricing yet, but I'm curious to see how the data products or inside apps will be priced. Also, it would be interesting to follow how the pricing of data extraction will change with this new announcements, especially if the premium outbound fee will be still applied when transferring SAP data to Databricks. Thank you so much for watching my video till the very end. I would recommend you one thing now. Contact your SAP and Databricks account teams as soon as possible to understand even more details about the impact of the announcement to your company. If you need anything related to Databricks or SAP data extraction or modeling, feel free to get in touch with me using the link below. Otherwise, have a great day and bye-bye.